As the world warms and heat waves become more frequent and more dangerous, people turn up the AC. It's very effective at cooling buildings and the people inside them. But air conditioners are also power-hungry appliances, with a small unit in a single room using more electricity than four fridges. There are currently around 2 billion air conditioners in the world, and that number could grow to 5.6 billion by 2050, generating as much as 2 billion tonnes of CO2 a year. This is the ever-accelerating feedback loop of air conditioning. Higher temperatures lead to more AC. More AC drives ever higher temperatures. But humanity lived without air conditioning for much of its history. Some of the most charming aspects of ancient cities, from Mediterranean courtyards to narrow city streets, are actually ingeniously engineered cooling measures that either block out direct sunlight or use cool stones and plants to keep the nearby air pleasant throughout baking afternoons. This often went alongside ways of living that adapted to the outside heat. Taking a siesta meant avoiding work during the hottest parts of the day. Looser, lighter clothing like the robes worn by those who traditionally live in the desert can also help. In India, it's common to place a wet towel on the head or neck, simply ensuring you know of a cool place to move to during intense heat like a shaded room can offer relief. Air conditioning is incredibly convenient, but it would be a disaster for the climate if it continues to be the worldwide remedy for rising temperatures.